Hey cuties! So I thought I would do a little mini manga review of Idol Dreams Volume 5 by Irina Tanimura. So I think I talked about Volumes 1 and 2 on this channel. If I remember, I'll link them below. 3 and 4 were pretty uneventful. I honestly don't remember too much from them. But 5? Holy cow! Stuff is happening in this. So basically it's about a Tokita and his girlfriend. So, so shocker, Tokita has a girlfriend, her name's Hanami, and it's uh, Chikaj's co-worker who's mean to her. And so it's kind of like, what's the term shoehorned in where it's like conveniently plotted where like the reason why Hanami hates Chikaj is because she saw a photo at Tokita's place that has Chikaj in it as a little in high school, like the three of them, uh, Haru, Tokita, and Chikaj. And then she bumped into Chikaj at work and she also had the same photo, so that's why Hanami hates her because she thinks uh, Tokita's still in love with Hanami, which he is. But basically it has Hanami's whole like backstory, and if I'm mispronouncing everyone's names, I'm so sorry. I whatever it's, it's how I'm reading it I'm not Japanese so whatever uh, anyways so Hanami was like ugly in high school or felt ugly and people bullied her and like didn't like her or whatever so she's really insecure and then she meets Tokita and they have like a one-night stand and it's just like it's such a hot mess and basically I feel like this is not a really healthy relationship between Tokita and Hanami because basically he felt guilty about it and then he started like a relationship with her because of that and then basically she started acting all cuter and stuff because she felt like Takeda really liked her and then I guess Takeda started falling in love with her because he felt like she was becoming cuter for him I don't know so basically Chikaj like helps the two like reconcile after some stuff happens in the manga okay sorry I had to stop because I gave a spoiler basically though I don't think we have to worry, at least I don't have to worry about Takeda being a love interest for Chikaj because something happens that pretty much seals the deal with Takeda and Hanami, so you'll have to read to find out that. But this had some really cute Hibiki and Chikaj moments. Hold on, let me show it to you. Okay, so like Chikaj as her little idol self, the stage collapses and then she hugs Hibiki like right afterwards. It's so cute. And in the manga, Hibiki's actually like, I want to write songs for you. That's what I want to do for like a living. And I was just like, mm. and it was just super cute. And hold on, hold on. Let me show you the moment from that. Like, look at this. When he says that, she's like, I didn't know you were in love with me. And he blushes or whatever. But like, look at that panel. These were some good panels right here. So I don't know. I just wanted to do a quick little review. So it seems like... So I hope Hibiki's actually doing the same thing Shikash is doing, he's actually like 30, because this is going to be really weird if she like marries a high schooler. Like, I was like, oh I want them to get together or whatever, but I figured they wouldn't, so I was like okay with like pining for it, but now that Takeda's out of the picture and like Haru's like a total jerk or whatever, I honestly think Arena's going to get Chikaj and Hibiki together, which I don't mind, but I hope Hibiki's actually like 34 or something, or you know, like the same age as Chikaj, because this is going to be really weird. Like, as me, I'm turning 30 this year, and I just feel really weird about this right now, so I don't know. I thought this was super cute, though. This is probably my favorite volume so far besides the first volume. Let me know if you guys are still reading this. I'll hopefully keep you updated if I see a new volume and read a new volume I like. It doesn't come out again translated until like August. I'm like, oh. I'll have to find some other mangas to read in between and maybe I can review them on this channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little review and I will talk to y'all later. Have a sweet day. Bye!